Thrive Themes Quiz Builder. In this video, we're going to cover the capabilities of Quiz Builder and actually build one to show you how it works. Now, to me, this is a lot of power in one little option. You can do images or text for your quizzes, you can use conditional logic, you can do lead scoring, and then importantly, you can connect to your email service. So let's dive right in. Inside your WordPress account, you're going to want to go from the dashboard to the Thrive dashboard to go to Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, the assumption you is you already have that installed. So go ahead and click on Add New Quiz. You can build from scratch, list building, social shares. These two just basically give you some default options. So for instance, you know what they want to do is show the results page after they've signed up. Social shares uh, waits for them to share before giving results, or allows them to share, sorry, on Facebook, etc. We're just simply going to build one from scratch to show you the functionality. So click on continue. You want to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it, I don't know, profile. Continue. And then you get to choose the type. In this case, I have not selected it. So we can do style. <clears throat> so let me just start clicking here. So do you want to do a number, percentage, category, right or wrong? So let's do score. Um, partly because at the end, we can use that score to display something based on how well they did or didn't do or just whatever, based on those numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on number. Next up is choose a quiz style. And I'm going to choose, let's see, let's do something pretty darn basic. So I'm just going to do this basic Q&A one. If I was to choose, um, if I really wanted to kind of gate them, I would use this email one, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Q&A one. It's really what I'm focusing on. I don't really care to do this, so I'm going to create skip that so now I want to do the questions and then the result page so let's start with the questions now um, I'm gonna do one where it's basically are you a man or woman uh, how old are you and how much weight do you want to lose so that actually can get kind of complicated it's three levels of questions obviously a man and woman's uh, two answers uh, how much weight or how old you are, that can be a lot of answers. Um, but you can display content that's reflective of the answers they give. So let's just get started. I'm going to add first question. And we can do images or multiple choice with buttons. In this case, I'm simply going to do this to make it easy. The images would be more appropriate, in my opinion, if you want to do a man or woman. So the first question is, uh, are you... No need to give a description there. Uh, first answer. And you know what? I am not going to give this a score, like one being more. Actually, I'm going to give it a score, one. But also, the next question is going to be the same score. I don't really care about the, uh, the scoring here. And here's the thing where we can connect our email system. If I uh, click that tag, um, we can add a tag based on their answer. Now, my recommendation is that you've already created the tags in your email system. So for instance, I'm using an active campaign. I would want to know the names of my tags prior to doing this. But the, an easy one would be woman. And this down here would be, of course, man. Now, if those don't exist, it will get created inside active campaign, in my case. We can do multiple tags per answer. Um, but this is a powerful feature. So at the very end, when this information gets submitted with their email address, assuming you're collecting it, um, this will tag them with information. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Next question. Simply going to click on Add. And I want both men and women to see the same question. Again, multiple choice with buttons. Click on Continue. Uh, how old are you? Now, you could do like increments of 10s, uh, 
20s, whatever. Um, you could definitely have a lot of answers here. Again, I'm going to do tags, and I'm going to say less than 30. Thirty to fifty and fifty plus. Um, so you can see why I'm doing this because you, you definitely get a different segment. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on tags again, and I, this might be less than thirty. Thirty to fifty, fifty plus. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I need to drag it down here and I need to, because I, I want both men and women, regardless of their answer, to see these same questions, I just want to connect it straight down there. There's no delineation based on uh, the answer they gave. So we can come down here and next one is how much weight do you want to lose? There's a third question I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to keep it uh, simple. Let's say three answers. I'm going to say <laughs> and I'm going to give them a tag. And then go ahead and save that. So at this point, I want to again connect this right here. And that could be it. I could be done with my questioning. Now I could also have conditional questions here. So watch this. I'm going to put another question. Oops, I'm going to click on multiple choice. Now, what I'm going to do is this is going to be for the people, for instance, that want to lose less than 10 pounds. So I'm making some assumptions. Ideally, I would know my audience well. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I haven't really been paying attention to the points. So actually, I might rethink doing this. But in my opinion, the tags are kind of the biggie. I want to capture that information, put that into my email. So for instance, let's say someone that loses less than 10 pounds. Um, And I'm going to call that energy. And let's give them another one. Um, I don't know. Let's say And let's just leave it for that. Now, in this case, I'm going to say this is only for the people that said they wanted to lose just a little weight. So they're going to go from there to there. And I'm going to move them over just so we got them out of the way. And the nice thing about this little navigator is it can kind of pull you around. Now, let's go into the people that want to lose a lot of weight and ask, ask effectively some questions, but more uh, related to how much they said. So I'm going to say, why did you?
Not I should, but I have to. Again, these questions are not, you know, I'm doing this on the fly here, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line from here for the people who said they wanted to lose in a lot to down there. So I'm actually going to leave this one alone. I'm not going to ask another question for somebody that says 10 to 30 pounds. I could ask now another question, then all of these people will get pulled back into here. But I could keep branching off into different different avenues based on their previous response or responses. And again, it can get very complicated. Notice how I started up here and I kept this nice linear path, but I'm collecting a lot of useful information. It's once I get down here and have a little, a few more details about uh, the person that I'm asking, a little more detail that's appropriate to what they provided. So let's do one more question. This one's gonna to be totally off the charts. And a lot of these are great to use with images. For instance, man and woman is a good one. Now, realize this is totally off base, but what the heck, let's do dog. And we're gonna say dog. You get the idea. And then I'm gonna drag that one down right here. Now notice what I'm doing now is I'm going to send everybody down here. So the people that answer here, come back here. This person who did not get that middle question, and then right there. So now we've set up a, uh, a quiz, if you will, um, starts by asking, are you a man and woman? woman? How old are you? How much weight do you want to lose? Based on their answer, they may or may not get a different set of questions. And then finally, what's your favorite animal? So I'm going to go ahead and save and exit that. Now let's set up a results page. And I think it's already pre-configured, but probably the biggie is we want to make sure we get added to the email. Okay, I'm not going to spend much time on this, but I'm, uh, you can have a custom page right here. And I am going to do this, choose style. And notice this says lead generation. So this is important right here if you want to get this information. So I clicked on it. I'm going to connect form to service. I'm going to say active campaign because I've previously connected them. You want to choose the mailing list to put them on. Is there a form you want them to fill out? And then comma separated list of tags to assign to them. So in other words, you could have a tag that anybody who fills this form out gets attached to, plus the tags that they provide via the answers. I'm going to leave those blank for now. You definitely want to put them on a list. And there's, uh, yep, there's the email. Do we want to make this required or not? And then what are we going to have happen after here? And you can send them to a custom URL, which is probably best. I'm simply going to show a success notification. And that's it. You probably want to make sure this is appropriate. This is going to show their results that they had. Um, and then you can change the language here. But by far the most important thing right here is to make sure that you've connected up to your email service. So I'm gonna go ahead and save work. And I can just leave that as is. And let's go back to dashboard. We can have a splash page and opt out. So that quiz is ready to go. So you know what I can do here is I can copy that short code right there and I'm going to create a page. And again, I'm not going to worry about styling at this point. I've already got a sample page built. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And I'm not even going to use Thrive Architect. May or may not work, but that's beside the point. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything on here. I'm just simply gonna paste that in in text mode. Go ahead and update. Now I could have used Thrive Architect and pulled that in, but let, for the purposes of what we're trying to accomplish, I just wanna see that it's working and functional. I can certainly make it look a lot better. Here we are. So are you a man or a woman? You know, how old are you? How much weight do you want to lose? Now notice this, this question was conditional based on my previous answer. So I'm actually going to cheat and reload that and not say that. I'm going to change it to something else. So I'm going to start with, I'm a man. I want to lose a lot of weight. And this time I've got a different answer. Now, in this case, you might have a situation where somebody wants to say, oh, this and this and this. It doesn't necessarily work that way, unfortunately. So it's really, you have to pick one. So let's just say that, and then what's your favorite animal? And then at this point, I would submit this information. And on the second page, you would probably want to say, thank you, check out your inbox for more information. And this score by itself doesn't make a lot of sense. But at this point, I've been able to get people's information I will get them into my email system, tag the way I want them, and then I've got information to work with. That's how you use Thrive Themes Quiz Builder.